Thank you, Mike. Students at a Pilsen High School are returning to class today, mourning the loss of two teenagers killed in a shooting right outside their school on Friday. Joni is live with the plans moving forward. And Joni, what a very difficult thing to go back to school today. Oh, yeah, it must have been hard for those kids, though. Most of them are in the building now. They were greeted by an increased presence of adults. There are multiple police squad cars here. This after a shooting of four teenagers outside Benito Juarez High School. Two attended this school, two went to other Chicago schools. And now the students who are here are just going to try to complete classes before winter break. Chicago police re released pictures of a possible suspect in the shooting. They have not said if there are more people involved. The children Children killed Friday are 15 year old Brandon Perez and 14 year old Nathan Viegas. Two 15 year olds were wounded. Um, one is uh, from this school, another one from UIC College Prep. Police are aggressively investigating. There's going to be more police at school all week, but students and parents are still afraid. Obviously, the priority for us in making sure that we're affecting. Um, you know, just the impact of that trauma is to make sure we're supporting the entire school community. That includes providing crisis supports, counseling supports, grief counseling. There's been a call for action from the very top, the governor, the mayor, the local aldermen. Today, the students, there's word that they may also speak out in a walkout uh, during classes today. The parents, they're all trying to be here for the students at arrival and dismissal. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you. All right.